Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got another project here. This is a fabrication job, actually. I was kind of surprised the other day. I thought it funny. was watching Keith Rucker's video and he mentioned about building a uh, rolling gantry crane. And that's what this here is going to be. I got a job building two of these identical, 10 foot tall, 10 foot wide. And this little pile of material here in the floor is going to be what I'm going to make it out of. So, took the forklift and managed to get the Johnson saw down here. And I've got some temporary power run to it. And it's out here in the middle of the floor so I can cut these long beams. That's something I've kind of been running through my head about laying out the shop, how everything's going to sit in here. Is, uh, where to put this stuff and how I'm going to be able to move it out to do jobs like this. You can't, I can't justify tying up, you know, 30 foot of space around the saw in order to have clearance for this kind of stuff. But fortunately the bridge crane makes it easy. I can just pick up the saw and move it to wherever. So, uh, it'll probably get a little, little spot beside a beam where I can cut, you know, small stuff without having to move it. And then for jobs like this, I'll just get it out and do the cutting and put it back. So, I'll take the crane and handle all this material off of it. It should make it a whole lot easier than when I had to build the bridge crane steel itself and trying to do it with front end loaders and uh, just wrestling it around. So I've got my roller stands down here set up and should be not too bad. Let me get these pieces cut up and uh, that'll be the first step. All right, the main header beam is in. I'm just going to cut it in two. It'll be extra long that way, but I'm just going to clamp it on the top so this will actually have additional capacity than what was specified uh, in the order, but why not give them something extra? Fire the face converter up and start cutting. Now I'm cutting the bases, so doing them four at a time.
Well, I'm not sure exactly where it is it cut off. Bailey wasn't watching the camera like he was supposed to. But uh, I've got one brace welded up. And I got the second brace welded up. I turned my uh, seams to the inside on both of them because there's a slight uh, bow in that 10 foot section of bar. And that uh, bow will be counteracted when the top goes on. The force have a tendency to straighten the bow out. So it's a built in pre stressing, I guess. But other than that, Got the pieces cut up here for the other ones. So I'm gonna get them welded together. Then it'll be time to put on the casters and the top plates to attach the eye beams with. Well, here they are. I got the four main part of the legs done. Uh, now I'm gonna do the pad mounts for the casters that'll go on here. And then I gotta do the brackets at the top that the eye beam will sit on top of. And that should have this finished. So, I'm gonna get to doing some more sawing, and then I gotta drill the bolt patterns and the brackets for the casters and the bolt pattern to clamp the eye beam to the top. So, I'll do that and bring you back. I am cutting the caster brackets. So, these will be what the casters over there in the floor bolt onto. Of course, I got green uh, one for being John Deere and all. Okay, so I'm over here at the Carlton and I got uh, two of the feet. And I just marked one of them and I put the other one underneath of it centered up. Uh, these are clearance holes for the casters and the casters are slotted too, so it's not super critical. But still want to do a nice job, and this is the easy way to do it. I can do two at a time. So, fire the drill up. Well, it's already running, but I like game. And put some holes.
time at a time. And that's two more done. Well, I've got the top support welded on, which will, the beam will slide through there. And I welded those nuts in and bolts will push down on it and clamp it. Uh, it'll be able to slide in and out. Of course, the long side's the inside leg to help brace the support. And I've got the Base is welded on down there for the casters. So, next thing to do will be to get the other one welded up, the mate over there. I'll get it took down and weld the bases on and weld the top on, and uh, that should have one complete to both the casters on. I think I'll stand them up and then pick up the crane and set them on with the casters. It may be hard to set them up with the casters on them. Well, that's it. We've got two of them done here. Bailey's come to check on it, give it the wag of approval. He says, I need to finish faster. So I've got them all welded out. Looks good. Can't complain about how that's looking. And I got my clamp nuts welded in on the top where the I-beam will slip through there and can adjust the width. And I got the casters put on the bottom. Pretty green. So next thing I gotta do is wrestle these suckers over and get that I-beam slid through it and stand it up so if I can't get that done and uh, we'll see how this thing looks. Well, that's got one done. Uh, I had to go get the forklift to stand this up in here. Uh, my chain hoist hanging off the hook lowers it down too much and I didn't have enough uh, reach to be able to pull this all the way up to stand it up because it's 10 foot under the hook in here. So that thing's like 12 feet tall almost. That uh, forklift had no problem at all. Just forking under it and standing it up. So I was able to get that done. And this one's ready. All I gotta do is spread this out, uh, tighten the bolts up, and this thing will be ready for load testing. I'm gonna proof it to be sure that it's uh, capable of handling its rated load plus probably 50%. I can use the chain fall three ton and I can find something to hook onto as a forklift and uh, load this thing to 6,000 pounds from a rated four 
Uh, OSHA, I believe, calls for a 25% overload unless the manufacturer says more. And I feel like that this will easily do more, and I want to be sure that it can handle more just as a safety factor. So, when I get that all set up, I'll bring you back. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, this little build project and knocking the, these gantry cranes out. Uh, got to finish up the other one. Got to weld the plates on the bottom and plates on the top, and they'll be done. The legs are over here. Uh, you've seen them already. So, that's just about a wrap on this job. Another couple of hours, I should have it finished. But uh, that's going to be it for today. Bailey's wanting to go in. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.